There are over 300 creatures in this game, and a lot of them are bound to be forgotten. I actually made a list of the most forgotten creatures in the game, but unfortunately the reason they're forgotten is because they're useless. So all the actual like forgotten creatures are just oh, useless tier 1s. So I decided to make a video on the most forgotten tier 5s, so they can actually be a little bit useful, and we're gonna be starting with number 5, the Avotheus. By the way, this list is like a little bit opinion based because there's no actual way to calculate the most forgotten creatures. But I gathered opinions of about 100 to 200 people and this is where we got to. So the Avotheus, it's basically a four-legged beast and it's actually, I think, a pretty decent creature. It just got the charge, so it might be a little bit more popular now. But the animations are, uh, they're honestly not the best. Alright, so let's see how um, good this creature actually is by becoming an Elder. The Elder Evotheus. It actually looks so sick. I wonder why no one uses this creature. It's actually, like, pretty good. I guess maybe because it's it's not too strong. Actually, it is pretty strong. Maybe it's just the weight. It only weighs 8,000, which is, like, the weight of, like, a tier 5 flyer, which is really low, by the way. Like, something like Burial Warden weighs, like, 60,000. So this is actually nothing. And it's also not that fast, but, you know, it's pretty decent. I can kill this high ghost. Oh my god, what? I just two shot him. But yeah, it's a baby high ghost. Alright, I think I think this is enough. I think we should move on to the next creature. The Evolthia is, is pretty cool, but it's not all that interesting, you know? So I feel like my voice sounds dead in this video, but that's because I haven't slept. For number four, we have Sarah Day, which is a pretty... I mean, it's actually kind of like the Evolthius, except it's a snake, but it's it's this is a lot cooler, I guess. It has four abilities, which is crazy for a tier 5, by the way. This is a time point creature. You get it by spending 200 hours on the game. I wonder why no one uses this creature. It's actually really nice, but I'm just going to straight up become an Elder real quick. I want to see what this thing looks like. And, ooh, we have the Elder Seraday. Oh, it's like a Chinese dragon. It's actually really nice. I guess the only reason it's not great... It's because of the damage, 60 sprint for something that has 150 damage and weighs 6,000, it's not a lot. It's pretty slow. And I guess it runs out of stamina kind of quickly, I don't know, you guys can decide on that. But this thing would be like way cooler if it could fly maybe, if it could fly like slowly. I get it, it has 10,000 health, it's, it's really tanky, like this is extremely tanky. But let's check out the roars. Okay, I think I've heard those roars before. Oh, it has a breath, I didn't even realize. It has like some sort of water breath, I'm guessing. It has mud pile, it can create mud, it can escape area. This this creature has to be like a little bit underrated, right? 10,000 health and like 5 abilities, and definitely some passive abilities. This creature is actually like really good. I like it, you know? But I think we should move on to number 3 now, since there's not much else to talk about this creature. Number 3, we have... A creature that I cannot pronounce, Nukifra Cuckoo. Yes, I actually nailed that. But it is the tier 5 coconut creature. And it's actually a pretty interesting creature. And it resembles a coconut, which is pretty cool. I don't know if this specific one is colored or something, but I'm just going to use my max growth token. And here is the tier 5 Nukifra Cow. Well, let's check out the roars, you know, on the coconut creature. Okay, that sounds like a coconut creature. Oh god, Gartokus. Can, can we kill a Gartokus? We have a breath. Oh, it's a water breath, I think. Wait, wait, I'm gonna pretend to be friendly, right? And then I'm gonna go for that Gartokus. I just wanna... Be a little bit sneaky. Alright. This is sneaky enough. Yes. Yes, I'm actually doing a lot of damage. Alright. I'm lagging. I'm lagging, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, wait, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm actually doing good. I got this. I got this. I got this. As long as I don't get bit. That's my... Oh, God. Oh, I'm definitely getting bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's biting me. He's biting me. He's biting me. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. I don't need the nuclear for a cuckoo anyway. I'm good. Oh, God. I think, you know, I think I did pretty well. Number two. We have the epic. The epic. The epic. Lusidark. Yes, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Oh, oh my God. What is this creature? <laughs> well, I can tell why it's forgotten. You know, maybe it's not terrible in PvP. It has a charge. That's a good start. But uh, it's not the it's not the best looking creature, in my opinion. But the Los Adark as an elder. Let's see if it looks a little bit better. Oh, it actually looks a lot better. It has more details and stuff. But it actually doesn't have that much health and weight. But I don't know. Its speed isn't the best. Can I kill this Gartokus this time? I have poison area. 
Okay, okay. Should I go for it? Should I go for it? I'm just so laggy right now. I'm probably like the laggiest YouTuber out there. But that's fine. Because I'm going to show you guys how to kill a Gartokus with lag. Oh, he's preparing. He's preparing. I'm gonna trick him. Oh, and I'm never gonna go for it. Wait, wait, wait. Don't attack me. Don't attack me yet. I didn't attack you. Okay, now I did. Now I did. Now I attacked you. How much damage can I deal? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh god, what 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 is going on right now? He just dealt like a thousand damage each hit. What? Okay, Gartokus is overpowered. There's no denying that. But you know what's even more overpowered? The most forgotten tier five creature. And it's actually a surprise because they should be getting like worse every every tier. But this creature is actually really cool. Like look at the way the head moves. I'm not even doing anything. It's actually so sick. Like and it has a charge too. It can do harden, which I think. Yeah, it increases the weight, health, blah, 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 blah. But this is a baby, and I, I want to see what the elder version of this creature looks like. No one really places this creature. It's another time creature. Let's see how long it takes. 100 hours. It's not even that difficult to get, but no one uses it. Is it maybe because it's like a herbivore? Okay, I bet we're going to check the stats and find out, but I'm just going to become an elder real quick. All right, so the Yabaidi, the elder Yabaidi is actually so sick. It's a it's a pretty normal creature now that I really think about it. It doesn't look too special. It only has Harden. But I think it's still not worth forgetting. Like, it's kind of underrated a little bit. Alright, the stats now. It actually seems fast in-game for some reason, even though it only has 58 sprint. But this seems so fast. Like, I, I don't know, is it just me? Am I crazy or something? But this seems so much faster than the Seriday, which, which had 60. This creature has actually some pretty decent stats. It has decent weight. 300 damage, 7,800 health. It doesn't have the worst bite cooldown. Yeah, I don't know why no one actually plays this creature. It doesn't seem to be too bad. I think I can kill some stuff with this. Zolbatros. Let's see if I can kill Zolbatros. Or let me kill this. Oh no, this Sotori is my friend. I'm sorry, Sotori. Wait, let me kill this Zolbatros. <laughs> I feel so mean. What if these people are my fans or something? Oh god, okay. Well, I'm a herbivore. I'm, I can't even eat it. But let's check out the wars. I feel like the wars are going to be creepy. Okay, I was kind of right. Um, I don't know why this this is what Felix thing is trying to kill me. Oh, where did he go? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I honestly, I feel like no tier fives are actually fun to use. The actual fun creatures are tier fours, tier threes, stuff like that. Maybe some tier twos, but tier five creatures like this is probably like one of the fastest tier five creatures. And look at how slow it feels. Like, I don't know, I just can't get anywhere. But I'm actually going to do a final boss battle before I end this video, and I'm gonna fight that Jabal Bash. Alright, I see you, Jabal Bash. I'm gonna, I'm ready to use my Harden. Sh should I do the aggro thing sh so I get some damage buff? Wait, I'm gonna do it. It doesn't even look like, okay, never mind, it does look like it's aggroing. But that Jabal Bash definitely knows I'm gonna attack it. I'm just pretending to face this way. I'm actually so smart. Yes, I got it. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see if we can kill Jabal Bash right now. This is a very tough fight. Oh my god, a thousand damage. It is superiorly stronger. Why is it so much stronger than me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Why am I running forward? Why am I running forward? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Yeah, this is probably why no one uses this creature. I think the issue is weight. Like, that creature doesn't even look stronger than me. We're about the same size. But look at how fast it kills me. It's actually insane how much, like, weight matters. 